What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of FTB Infinity Skyblock Evolve Expert Mode. Woohoo! I think I messed up the Skyblock in the Evolve. Yeah, I'm never sure about that. But, yeah, if you look behind me, you see uh, this is my little setup. Uh, I just added a little couple of things. Oh, by the way, I hope everybody's doing alright. I'm doing amazing! Yeah. Ow. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I added that a couple of... Uh, Episodes ago, I don't think I showed it. It's just uh, from cobblestone to gravel to sand, and that's about it. That that's what it does. And but I was tired and I I needed quartz, more quartz, and so I made this little guy here. So the sand goes to the base, uh, and here <laughs> I get the sand again, another part of the sand. Uh, and what I do if I go at the bottom, uh, I put from the chest, I put it into the spruce barrels, which are on top of my ceiling, and I pour the water into it, which changes it into soul sand, and then the autonomous activator in the back just uh, removes it from the barrel, which goes flying, which gets picked up by the vacuum hopper, which gets sent into the sieve and it gives me uh, quartz, nether warts, and uh, gas tears. So yeah, are these empty? Yeah, I can finally pick them up. At first I had four, but uh, four was too fast for the sieve and I don't want to make this too big, so I decided to just keep it like that. I guess the next uh, thing we're gonna work on, well not today, but on this platform will be to put uh, the netherrack uh, the netherrack part so we can get uh, cobalt draconium and more but today uh well it's based on what we did the uh, last last episode which is actually not out yet for me oh boy that lag when you get in the base uh but yeah oh uh, actually, there's one thing that you haven't seen yet, and it's on the side. Uh, I decided to add a little farm just because I needed some sludge. Uh, <laughs> I don't need the wood, I've got 30,000. Uh, what? Uh, I think I've got my first crash, guys. <laughs> I think I've got my first crash. Oh, no. Okay, it just came back. <laughs> wow! Okay, that, that, that's the first time I get something like this. But yeah, I just got an Arvister. Uh, and below, we're, we're gonna go under the real way. Uh, if you go under, we've got a planter here with some sapling. Wow, it's getting full. And I've got a redstone furnace right here. with I just have an oak wood in there. So pretty easy stuff. Uh, so what happens, the harvester goes into the chest, then it detects that it prioritized this guy for sapling because he's first. Then goes here and it sees, oh, this guy takes oak, so he's gonna go there. If there's no place, it goes in the inner chest. And then when this guy is done, it uh, puts the charcoal in the steam dynamos. The steam dynamo powers the whole thing. So that's what I'm doing here, and it works pretty well. Uh, I've got my sludge boiler super far for now. It's right here, and it gives a bunch of things. Uh, and I have a filter in here to remove ash, decaying wheat, coarse dirt, red sand, and peat. All things that I do not care about. All right. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much what I did. Uh, I also worked on that, and as you can see, the skill level is pretty high, because I wanted this to be pretty deadly. So they're both Eric, and it's pretty crazy. So, alright. Oh, sorry. Let's go up. Uh, so, if we just... Uh, let's just empty a couple of things. Uh, nah, this can go, this can go. I made a hammer because I thought I needed to use it, but nope, didn't. So, let's put this guy in here and we'll put uh, the autonomous activator on the side. Alright. So, the reason mainly I'm doing uh, this, uh, the sludge is I need netherrack and netherrack is a pain to get. 
Uh, Sludge Boiler has like so low chance, but the best way is this, but I don't have anything to automate that yet. But, alright, so what I have planned is with this hidden compartment here. Yeah. You've guessed it. <laughs> We're gonna go fight a wither, guys. <laughs> We're gonna go fight a wither. Uh, let me grab an angel block. Oh, let me check, because when I was streaming, I forgot that I had keep inventory on. So let me see if the game rule is still there. Uh, keep inventory. There we go. I turned it to false, so if I die, I should be fine. Uh, Alright, so we've got the angel block. Uh, maybe maybe grab a couple of blocks. We're probably going to fight it flying, but nah, it's okay. <laughs> Alright, so what I think we're going to go is uh, this this way. This way seems, seems okay. I don't want to fight it too close to the base. So we're just going to go a little bit further. And... I'm 400 blocks, I think that's far enough. Okay, and we're gonna make a little platform just to spawn him and not fall to our death. Uh, that bow should bring him to like 50% in one or two hit, so that should be pretty easy fight. After that it's just hitting him with the sight. So pretty easy things going on. Alright, uh, we don't need a big 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 platform. Uh, all right. Soul sand. Uh, yeah, probably should remove the angel block. No. Okay. Soul sand. I I'm going all in. I don't even have potions. I don't have anything. Okay. Oh, he's going to jump. Oh, I forgot about that. Please, please don't go in the void. Please don't go in the void. Please don't go in the void. Start flying. Come on, start flying. Hey, I'm here. Dude, I'm here. Come on. Get up. Come on, get up. Oh, I forgot one thing. Uh, we'll leave this. Okay, okay, so now we can... Hey! There we go. So two hits with the crossbow. And he's dead. Wait. I... <laughs> I didn't get the... I didn't get a nether star or anything. Ah... Uh, okay. I'm not sure I get what just happened. I don't have a nether star and I don't have a division sigil. Is there like a recipe for it? <laughs> or did they just completely remove the division sigil? <laughs> that that would be unlikely. Like we need this to make the pickaxe. So that would be really unlikely. Uh, I guess we're gonna s try to spawn another one. Oh, I don't know which side I went. Okay, this is the side. All right. I'm gonna go grab more materials and I'll be back when we can fight like three or four. Alright, I guess we're gonna do a second one and I think I've got more cobblestone. Let's just like try to get him to die over the cobblestone or something because I can't, I'm gonna lose my stuff and it's not fun. Uh, I don't want to lose the, the stuff, which is weird because I had my magnet on so should have picked up stuff. I can put it in the bubble, true. I forgot. So let's just put it, put it in the bubble and it should be fine. Alright. So, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spawn him a little bit higher. So he's gonna explode this and then he's just gonna fall down and I'm gonna start killing him there. Alright. Like a that. Okay, so let's grab our crossbow or deadly, deadly crossbow. 
Let's move a little far so he's not gonna move at all. All right. Wow, you're strong, buddy. Man, okay. There we go. That's more like it. We got a nether star, so <laughs> with the nether star, we can't make the wings. I'm kidding, we're not gonna do that. There's a bunch of things you can do uh, with the nether star. For now, we're not really to the point where we need a nether star. But I wanted this. Yes, this is mainly the reason why I was doing all this. And it's because I want to make the... I'm on, I want to make the ritual. Uh, I don't know what these are for. <laughs> should probably take a look. Alright, so... Uh, no, no, no. L let's kill more. Let's kill more. I think I think I'm gonna I'm gonna kill a little bit more. Uh, you know, why not? Uh, you know, we've got we've got more, so we could do more. I think I have like three hundred skulls. So yep, I think we're doing fine on number of skulls. <laughs> but yeah, these guys are, are a joke in modded. It's such a joke. Like, check this out. He's already so freaking lit! And there we go. <laughs> Alright, so let's put another one. I thought it would actually like be a little bit harder, but nope. Just a joke. Just a joke. Come on, Wither. Come on. Show me what you got. Man, he's fast. Like, they do nothing! Oh, I remember I have Blast Protection on one of my piece, I think. Yeah, Blast Protection 4, so that should probably help me. Okay, oh, I should probably remove that. And boom, boom, boom! Alright. So, so, so. Come on, explode. You die now! <laughs> oh, I can't I can't shoot him. <laughs> He's... Wow, this guy actually hurt me. <laughs> a little bit. Alright, I think we're gonna leave this here. Just so if we need to kill another with her. <laughs> Alright. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to prepare everything I need for uh, the ritual. And I'm gonna bring you guys back when I have a platform with everything I need and stuff like that. So, yeah guys, I'll be right back. Alright, so we are here and this is pretty much the ritual. Uh, I've got everything I need here. Uh, so if you shift click it tells you altar as redstone circle. Boom, okay. Altar can see the moon. Altar has sufficient natural earth which is the little thing I have around. And altar must not be lit by outside source. Too early sacrifice must be made at midnight. So... Guess we're gonna wait. It's almost time, guys. It's almost time. <laughs> so the little clip you just saw was with couple seconds. I mean, it was 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes of just my character looking up at the sky, waiting for the moon to show up. Oh, the seconds are so much better. But yeah, so what you do is you need a weapon, you need uh, your sacrificial thingy, doodler. And the reason I've got more than one is that you can actually uh, make more than one at a time so boom we can so because it glows it says you can so perform sacrifice and now what i want is to grab this that's what i want that's the only reason i was doing this is to grab some cursed earth just jump i'm good i don't i don't need you you, you can jump So, the, the thing about this, uh, oh, okay, you, you want to play this, huh? There you go, you have no chance. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, creeper. <laughs> oh, creeper. <laughs> Come on, creeper. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit harder than I thought. <laughs> No, stop it guys, stop it, spawn zombies instead of skeletons. I, I want this, I want this little thing. <laughs> ah. There you go, another one. So yeah, this thing burns uh, when there's light, so it's a little bit different than your average dirt. So that's a little bit why I'm trying to hurry, so that I can uh, get as much as I can. And after that, they're just gonna stop spawning. So yeah, it forces the monsters to spawn. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put them at my farm in the nether. Uh, so that way it's gonna spawn all the time and I'm gonna get infinite mob essence and infinite drops. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool system and I hope it's gonna work. I think you can use it in the nether. So yeah, that that's gonna be pretty pretty efficient no no oh, okay just just drop to your death and stop it you can't you can't do it I'm too powerful you can't <laughs> but yeah the, this is the stuff uh, it spawns monsters so I could put it also in my base but I don't really need it in my base uh, it's only gonna spawn the guys when I'm there, so I guess it's fine. Uh, for the nether, it's just I don't want to be in the nether and in the overworld at the same time, so uh, doing it for the uh, for the nether, I think, would be the best idea. I, I was waiting for this to spread here, but it just doesn't want to spread. So we'll just grab it. And we got two stacks, so I guess it's plenty, plenty enough. Alright, so let's grab our crafting, and I guess we're going this way, yeah. All right, so that that that's that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm enjoying. Oh, if uh, let's sleep and I'm gonna show you that after. Uh, da, da, da. I didn't talk about the crossbow that I have. Uh, it's it was a little bit complicated to do because they removed a bunch of things that you can't do, in the pack like you can't use tomium, you can't use endurium. Uh, so I had to use pink slimes. Uh, so. Uh, activated, activated, activated. So that's why I had more than one. Yeah, so that, that's the trick I've been using. I uh, just have this little guy here. Uh, normally there was a solar panel, but I needed it over there. And I get some pink slime, and I made this guy out of pink slime. Uh, these guys are pink slime with steel uh, on top of them. And uh, they, they're doing pretty good. This guy is like crazy fast. Yeah. So as you can see, boom, instead, instead, that, instead, that, instead, that, instead, that, instead, that. It's it's super easy to kill, uh, to kill stuff. So that's why I did this guy. But yeah, so I did the slaughterhouse. The slaughterhouse was, well, it, it wasn't easy to do. But let, let's take a look at slaughterhouse. Uh, it was the ender, so it's dark steel and dark steel. Well, you make it like that. So quite easy dark steel again and everything else I already had but over here I decided why should I use a fishing farm when I can make the fisher it's a block that fish for you <laughs> so yeah oh I got a new bag nice so these little bags all have uh, most of the time it's plastic sheet and then you just uh, throw stuff away but I can't because I've got the magnet on but yeah guys so, uh, I know it, it's not a lot, but uh, that, that's it for the episode. It wasn't a big, big, big thing that I needed to do. I mainly wanted to get these things going. And, like, with this, we're going to be able to get uh, some tools and some things. You know, the, the shears. Uh, you know, so it's going to be nice. I'm probably going to use the safe method. Uh, like this guy it's to make the sword, but like I don't have anything to do with the wooden spike, which I don't understand why you would do. But uh, yeah guys, so I hope you enjoyed the extra episode. Uh, I don't know how many of these I'm going to make during the weekends. Uh, but yeah, so if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And we will see you in the next episode guys. Bye bye.